several of my videos where I'm comparing different recording devices or microphones, I use a 1K Hertz, 1000 Hertz test tone to uh, set a baseline and then instead of trying to super fine tune the volume setting when I do the recording, I match the levels using that 1K Hertz test tone in post, in post production after the recording. So I thought I'd demonstrate that in a little more detail. I have some clips I created by hooking a Rode NT4 stereo microphone into three field recorders, Sony PCMD50, Zoom H2N, and the uh, classic Zoom H2. So I ran the, uh, the microphone into a passive splitter and took the signal out to all three recorders. Now I'm going to pull those clips into Reaper and use uh, Synalysis FreeG stereo metering tool along with regular Reaper facilities to match the volumes between these clips. Now I'm going to view Media Explorer and pull these clips in. There's the H2, uh, here's the H2N, and here's the uh, D50. Oh, listen, isn't it cute? It plays a little bit of each one. What we want to do now is line them up on one of these transients. I like that guy right there. And of course, we go to the one that's farthest to the right because that's easier to pull things in that direction. So let's zoom in on that guy. Don't get too far because we've got to be able to pull these others over. Let's bring that one over and bring the H2 over. Line them babies up. Now we can zoom in a little bit closer. Boy, when you get down like this, you know, you know you're gonna you're gonna be in sync. Okay, and the tracks are in sync. What we want to do is pick out a little area in the uh, test tone segment and make a time selection. We're looking for an area that where there wasn't too much else going on. It doesn't have to be very long, but we want it to be consistent, not ripply. This represents me moving around in the room or bumping into something. So find a nice consistent part and put the cursor in that part and set loop mode. And now when you press play, it's going to continually play that part. Now we bring up the meters, and the meters that we're using are the Synalysis Free G. These Synalysis meters are not just meters, they're also trim tools. That is, they can add or subtract gain to the track, separate from the track and master faders. So this is a way, one of many ways in Reaper, believe me, to adjust the gain. But this one has the advantage of having a nice long scale. So now all we do is press the space bar and our loop starts playing. We examine where we are here. Pretty high. Minus 8, minus 8, minus 13. So let's pull everything down to this lowest level. And we double click this and see 14, 13. So let's pull this one down to that neighborhood. Double click it. 14, 14. 1437, 1388. 1427, 1408. I'm thinking those are close enough. Now we're pulling down the D50. Pulling down the And we're at 1450 and 1383. Very nice. All right. So press the spacebar again. And that obnoxious noise stops. The gain that we applied in the free G meter applies to the whole track. Any item that was on this track would have that much gain added or subtracted. That means that this part where we played the music is also adjusted by that amount of gain. So let's clear the time selection and get down here where the music starts. And of course we want to just listen to one track at a time. There we go. That's 
that's the H2. There's the H2N. Here comes the D50. Now, you can set up loops just like we did uh, to audition the What I like to do is listen to the tail out here where there's not much sound and I might even crank the gain up to hear which one of these is the noisiest and which is the quietest. The next step is to render out the uh, adjusted version of each of these clips. Uh, that's the beginning of the music. Let's uh, get a little closer because there's some noise. Yeah, that's pretty decent. And we'll go from there out to the tail where the quiet part is. Then each time we solo the track and render it, we'll render just that track. Up the render, we make sure we're in uh, in the right directory, and we're going to call this D50 because that's the one that we're rendering. Make sure we're 44116, and that we have time selection picked, and hit render. And that's all it takes to create a file. And we just repeat that process for the others. I'm also going to render out separate clips just for the tails and raise the gain on those so you can hear the relative noise levels. And this time I'm also going to make available the original files without any adjustments, just the way they came off the recorders, so you can play with the originals yourself. I sure hope you found that useful. Please visit us at www.homebrewedmusic.com.